Hello and welcome to my channel. Kindly like and subscribe. That Rihanna rule in all likelihood won't ease up. In spite of her lengthy rest from music seemingly forever, the cosmetics magnate keeps on breaking obstructions as a business visionary. While many fans have playfully referred to Rihanna as the Avon woman, while sitting tight for her next collection, her turn to design and magnificence has been substantially more than that. Through her organization, Fenty, Rihanna has changed cosmetics, skincare, and underwear in view of variety and inclusivity. She even appeared on the Forbes Extremely Rich Person list in 2022. Nonetheless, things weren't generally so impressive for the star. At the point when you hear Rihanna and military in a similar sentence, there are two visuals that could come into view. Her fanbase, the Rihanna Navy, and her acting presentation in the 2012 film War Vessel Surprisingly, the film hits somewhat nearer to home than fans might have known. Rihanna's life pre-popularity is for the most part examined as far as ability shows and excellence events, however the vocalist has an astounding training camp foundation. Years before her chance as a graph clincher and cosmetics head honcho, she gained significant abilities and encounters from her local Barbados that prepared for her intense young lady picture. It's great enough that Rihanna recorded Pond to replay at 16, yet she previously went through thorough sub-military preparation five years sooner. Sufficiently entertaining, she took orders from an individual Barbadian vocalist. Chantelle of shirt and inconceivable popularity. Chantelle was Rihanna's military trainer, truth be told. In a 2009 meeting with BBC, Chantelle made sense of, we were both in trainees together it wasn't obligatory or anything. In any case, picture me and Rihanna in battle boots and uniform creeping through mud, and that's what things like. By trainees, Chantel is alluding to the Barbados Cadets Corps, a program for Barbadian youngsters that sets them up for military achievement. Notwithstanding, the broadly insubordinate Rihanna wasn't awesome at taking requests even in those days. In 2015, she told NME, we'd need to provide inconvenience to partake in this discipline we were getting. Furthermore, we'd won't do push-ups when we were rebuffed. It was an issue of, why take care of business? It was so exhausting to observe the guidelines, it seems like Chantelle had her hands full. One way or another, in spite of Rihanna's noncompliance, the abilities she mastered in preparing would ultimately prove to be useful. In light of the well-known tabletop game, Warship took the pop star's recruit preparing to the big screen. Assuming the part of Officer Cora Rakes, Rihanna really went through one more round of training camp to get in the headspace of the person. At the point when it came to the serious actual part of preparing, it didn't seem like Rihanna had changed a lot from her trainee days. In a public interview for War Vessel, she told Digital Spy, the entire preparation I was pondering stopping. I was like, I really want to get this person out of my lodging. He can't be hollering at me like this in my room, this is terrifying. Tragically it was totally supportive of nothing, as Warship bombarded in the cinema world and with pundits. It was selected for an incredible seven classifications at the 33rd Golden Raspberry Awards, with Rihanna herself bringing back home the Razzie for Worst Supporting Actress. Rihanna has never recognized the success, however most would agree that it didn't deter her from chasing after future acting open doors. A couple of years after the fact she loaned her voice to the energized film home, and she later showed up close by Sandra Bullock and Kate Blanchett in C's 8. While Rihanna hasn't gotten back to her tactical roots, they basically prompted film jobs, an amazing Chantel association, and a noteworthy being a fan name. Thanks for watching.